your number one source for local news. News Channel 3. Good evening, everybody, from the News Channel 3 Weather Center in downtown Memphis. I'm meteorologist Austin Anna. Going to be a fairly clear night tonight. A few clouds in and around the Mid-South earlier this afternoon into this evening, and even a few showers and a couple of thunderstorms did manage to pop up across parts of the area, but otherwise things are decently quiet for tonight, so hopefully some good stargazing weather will remain across much of the area. We'll take a look at the forecast again coming up here later on tonight on News Channel 3 at 10, or if you're tuning in later than that, make certain you join us for News Channel 3 Daybreak starting bright and early Sunday morning at 6 a.m. A little bit of sunshine this afternoon, some gorgeous conditions across the area. The view of pre-sunset before the clouds moved on through on the News Channel 3 tower cam overlooking the Mississippi River just southwest of the News Channel 3 studios. The Bridge Trio and looking off toward the area around eastern Arkansas in the far upper right-hand corner of your screen. Beautiful evening out there. Heading into the rest of the evening and to try to do some stargazing. Again, remember, away from city lights is going to be your best bet. Into the rest of the evening, temperatures will be a little bit on the warm side out there, but not doing too bad. And stargazing conditions into the rest of the evening should be looking at a little bit of haze here and there, maybe a few clouds lingering on through, and humidity levels increasing as the temperatures cool off slightly anyway, but no precipitation expected in skies after News Channel 3 at 10 should be relatively clear. Main things for tonight, Venus very bright in the west after sunset should be able to catch that before it sets in the next couple of hours. Mars and Saturn bright lights in the southern skies in the constellation of Scorpius along with the star Antares that will be seen in and around the area there, and moonrise about 1.25 a.m. on Sunday morning. So if you're going to get up and see if you can see that with a few clouds out there, should be able to take a look for that coming up a little bit later on. The International Space Station will be making a pass over the Mid-South, a brief and very low pass to the southern horizon, starting in the southwest skies and going down toward the south and to the east. That is going to be giving us, again, a nice show if there's less clouds. That will be just underneath Orion and down toward toward the southern skies, which is where things will get a little bit on the hazy side. So you'll be looking just underneath uh, Canis Major, the constellation outside of Orion to the left and under, and also looking below the star Sirius. That again will be uh, where you're going to be looking for that. And again, should be relatively bright tomorrow, so it'll be brief. Rises through the shadow of Earth at about 20 till 6, and will be setting at about 544, 545. So that'll be about the time frame that you'll be able to see at a limited window and with clouds and haze. Could be a little difficult to spot, but it should be relatively bright out there. Another target for you tomorrow morning, early, not too much in the evening hours. The space plane, technically a secret, but it looks like a lot of astronomers know about this. OTV-4, also known as the X-37. 7B space plane that'll be passing almost directly overhead from west to east and it's going to be dimmer than the space station it's also going to be closer to sunrise right after about six o'clock it'll fade into the west at around five, uh, 605 go across the sky and that area right between the three quarters full uh, moon there should be last quarter moon I should say and between there and Sirius at about 607 and setting in the southeastern skies toward the sunrise at around 611 now sunrise doesn't occur until about 10 till 7 but skies will be getting brighter at that time so it's going to be very difficult to see anything out there into the early morning hours with that sky glare taking place so something to think about if you're going to be going outdoors outside of that again great opportunity to see those planets we talked about into around the area of Scorpius in the southern skies early on. And Mercury will actually be rising in the south and east at about the same time that the OTV plane makes its way on down toward the horizon. So you might see that bright star in the other horizon there and a good opportunity to see more uh, out there for this evening. So check that out if you want to. Also drop by our main weather page, wrhg.com slash weather, for more information. And remember to keep looking up. I'm meteorologist Austin Onik. This has been a quick update on astronomy, ast astronomical information in the Mid-South area. And find out more through our Skyblog 3 program. We'll have more about that coming up later on. And more of an update on your weather forecast on our weather overtime segment, also available at wrhg.com slash weather. Thanks for joining me on Saturday evening. Name.